Today, we're very happy to announce Utheme Pro 120. This video is a walkthrough of all the new features, so lean back and let's see what awaits you in this update. We added new position options to all elements. You can now choose a relative or absolute positions, as well as set the left, right, top or bottom offsets. The relatively positioned elements stay in the content flow. But if you choose the absolute position, the element will be removed from the content flow, so there is no space where the element was positioned in the layout. You can also set the Z index to define the stacking order of elements. The element with a higher Z index will appear on top. To be aware that absolutely positioned elements are removed from the content flow, they are highlighted in the Builder layout blue. We updated the title style options across all elements. Now there are five new styles – small, medium, large, x-large and 2x-large. The primary and hero styles were replaced by the medium and the x-large style respectively. Additionally, we updated the meta style option and added all the available heading styles. We added one more meta text alignment option that allows you to align the meta text above the content. This is useful if you use the grid option for the title, where the title is left aligned and the content is right aligned. Setting the meta text above the content will in this case position the meta text at the top of the right content cell. Panel elements can now have hover effects if you choose to link the title and image or the panel itself. You can choose a scale up or scale down transition for the image. The effect will be triggered if you hover any part of the panel. You can also choose a hover style for the title. If instead you link the title and image, the hover effects will be triggered separately. We also extended the width option for the header and navbar. You can now choose between the default, small, large and expand width. We added 5 more videos that will tell you everything there is to know about images in Utheme Pro. These include videos about the link picker, the media manager, the Unsplash image library, lazy loading and WebP images. You will find these videos both in our documentation and in Utheme Pro itself. These are the main features of Utheme Pro 120. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the changelog. If you want to know what awaits you in the next update, take a look at the What's Next section in our blog post. Now go ahead and try Utheme Pro yourself. And as always, let us know what you think in the comments below.